Hello, John. Well, welcome to another weekend of uh, Community Focus. How are you, John? I'm oh, good, John. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, what what uh, is on the forum this week, John? I don't know. We, we were kind of talking there. I said for you about, you know, we noticed this kind of rise of this kind of prejudices toward people that aren't, like, yeah. that don't, Not from the that country. aren't from Ireland, or yeah. especially, and I think it's really directed primarily toward people of different skin colour and the kind of like the. The, the, the facts that are being put out there that aren't facts the, you yeah. know, all these the scaremongering scaremongering mm. with these kind of misinformation and I suppose social media all these campaigns of hate especially like, the uh, right wing uh, yeah. element is, is really uh, coming into Ireland now which yeah. I don't think I can never remember it really here no we don't have we, like, it's, like, you have right wing parties across like you know oh yeah yeah but uh, I think in Italy they have a, a right sided party but yeah. not like they would be they would be a bit anti immigration alright but what we've got here the, the right wingers we have here would be very it's not just about immigration though see they would also be against abortion they would also be against kind of women's rights so they're going to mm. fuel up stuff with this next referendum as well and um they want to take away the rights of people really more than anything bring us backwards and yeah the progression we've made is uh like the autonomy over a woman's body you yeah know, she's that, every right yeah to, that's uh, for yeah, business in individual's business and an individual woman's business and yeah. um in fact we have to debate these things is it, it seems this day and age is, is, yeah uh, and and those these right wingers you'd see them they're all over youtube and facebook and all this and the some of them have the gift of the gab and it sounds like they know what they're talking about but if you if you deep if you delve further really some of the stuff they're saying is nonsense this Ireland is full as a country with our space size we're, we're not full no. like no you can argue that our services and our housing situation obviously we're finding it difficult to house people that are born here and that is a, that is a you know an issue but the fact is by land mass we're not full we're yeah. just not that's a lie yeah. we're not full it's I suppose the housing crisis is, will fuel people's imaginations into kind of you know being empty immigrants. Oh, but I, 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 in my opinion, I, I think that uh, the housing crisis came around because probably we had the foresight as a country, like other, a lot of other countries, to start, keep building houses uh, that we, you know we didn't realise that the population would would get our own population would get so high that uh, eventually we're a growing country. That there was always immigration. Out of Ireland, which is probably a change that uh, yeah, uh, you know, a lot of people staying at home now. They don't travel. A lot of people coming back to Ireland actually from foreign countries that are yeah. Irish national, that Irish so, people. But to say that there's, there's there's kids, young people in their twenties, and and they're they don't want to live with their parents till they're thirty. Well, I can understand. I've, we've 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 we've, you know yourself, John. You're, you're a lad when he grows up, and your two kids, and my my kids. Uh, I have one daughter living with us uh, some of the time as well, and when she's down from Dublin and stuff, and she yeah. she wants her own bit of bit of, bit, bit, of yeah. bit of but they can't piece. get it because but they can't it's get it because the housing housing is no. like even to rent a house now, say from Limerick Corporation, which you know in in especially in my day was always a you, you, reasonable reasonable. You put in for a house that morning if you're on the housing list, and you'd have a house by dinner time. Mm. No, in fairness, there was a stock there. There was a stock there, but in fairness, that stock because. Yeah. I know they put it down to people living longer and they put it down to this, that and the other. Poor, poor planning. Poor planning. Mm. No, we're not blaming governments or anything like that. Governments, yeah. No one had the foresight to see. I don't know. Yeah, but in fairness... Well, you like, should yeah, do. Yeah. If you're in, go like in government, you have the, the cream of the crop working for you. So you should have the top elite professionals be able to... You should be able to get that information and you should be... You should that have... You know... Look at the surveys and data. there are the people at top. Who else, if not them? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we, now there's a bit of building there, but it's like we're trying to catch up, isn't it? Oh, we're trying to catch up. Uh, like, they were saying 90,000 euro a year is the... Le like, to, you'd have to, to buy a three-bedroom house. That's you need a combined income of about ninety thousand yeah. a year, realistically. There was a couple in Dublin there. That's what. That's where the yeah. ninety euro came from, and they couldn't apply. They couldn't get a house no, in Dublin. No, couldn't. Uh, none of the banks would take them. No, no. You know, and I they mean, had the deposit. They yeah. had everything. But you remember, yeah. I suppose, like, you know, years ago, you could have one decent job there, and and maybe one of the people could stay at home to mind the kids or whatever, yeah, and you yeah. could still afford a mortgage. That's right. It's not a no, hope. No, those days are gone. Well gone. I don't think they'll ever be back, John. No. You know, unfortunately, no. for for our younger. For our for our, our kids and, and, and grandkids, they're waiting for people to pass on to, to so, leave whatever inheritance is there. Yeah. If there's a house that people are lucky enough to own their houses now. So like the, you, know, you know all right, we get it, right? Yeah. We can't the services aren't adequate. We see the situation out and 
you know, especially her own hospital in Limerick. There was another, yep. another young girl, 16 yep. year old again. Actually, she went to school out where I'm living and um, passed away again. And I read about it. It was horrendous. Obviously, our services aren't up to scratch. No. But no. this thing that Ireland is full, not necessarily. Not necessarily. And I, yeah. That's just, that's going to be one of these tags that they use. It's like, it's like the MAGA tag. It's like make I, America great again. I, it's a little yeah. thing to get behind. And, yeah. and in reality, these are delighted. These these people are delighted because they just want to keep people down. And and you always pick the most... People like this always pick the most vulnerable people in society, which are what immigrants, like coming from war-torn countries or yeah. possible persecution. I mean, you know, they're burning down places that are prospective kind of... Uh, yeah you know, places for them to live. Yeah. I mean, is that what we've come to? Like taunting as children are walking past grown men, yeah. taunting, taunting them, kids, yeah. taunting yeah. them because, you know, you've seen They're different creed, different colour. Yeah. And all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Different creed, different colour. I mean, you know, I get it, you know, religion and stuff. People have different religions. There's going to be different cultural opinions, different kind of societal norms. That, you know, I, I get that. That's always going to be a challenge that we have to adapt to each other. But at the end of the day, we were taken in a lot of countries as well. Correct. And yeah. we, the Irish have always been a charitable nation. We've always been charitable people. I mean, we give above and beyond. I mean, you know, the, the, the talker box, John, you grew up with them That's right. around our windowsills, That's around right. our coffee tables. You know, we need to show that kind of charity still because, like, the, like asylum seekers are basically people that are, are, are that are applying to become refugees and refugees are people that are under the threat of persecution in their country now they could live in a country where death, like yeah, homosexuality yeah. is yeah. punishable by death yeah. they could be in a country where their political views are, are yeah. uh, you know you've seen what happened when the, the hijab wasn't born in the Middle East there and there was all yeah. the riots um, and, and they actually executed some of them for saying that they were heavy handed with the police or they tried to threaten the police and there's been young people hung over there I mean these, these are job. people that are on the run for their lives yeah and I, I, I personally don't care what religion they are. Um, you know, I, I don't think religion should come into any sort religion of or, or, or color of skin should. No, come in, you know, no. If you, know. you, you know, at the end of the day, we're all on a, a this this bit, the, the earth together. Yeah. You know, and yeah. if if something does hit the fan, say with climate and things like that, right. everyone's affected by it. We're, that's, all, together, that's, yeah. we're all together. Yeah. Almost, you know. So I think what happens is as well with these right wingers or giving them a label almost seems ridiculous. It makes them seem important and they're not I suppose what it is is they dehumanise people and when you dehumanise someone it makes it easier to commit evil toward them and that happened in World War 2 yeah. because they dehumanised the Jews in Nazi Germany and the reason how they done that was various methods but do you remember there was caricatures of Jewish people you'd see them in kind of you know comic strips at the end of a newspaper and yep. they used to make the Jews on top of a spider a Jewish person a caricature right. with the huge nose and eyes yeah. and a spider the big spider, beard and the German was the superior that's the, right yeah. Good the posture, Aryan. Yeah. and that would be the caricature they dehumanised yeah. them then and that changes the norm of society because suddenly people are growing into that oh yeah the Jews are like that they're, they're yeah. looking for money or they, you know yeah. and then it makes it easier to persecute them yeah and because it's easier to kill something if you don't think they're human that's right and and this you can say like oh we're, we're nowhere near that I know we're not but there will be a hate crime that will lead to murder there will be you know it's going to happen they're going to burn down something and somebody will be seeking refuge and there'll be an Irish person and then there'll be outcry and it'll be some Yahoo who thinks you know Ireland is full Ireland for the Irish and all that and yeah. nonsense and have you seen the the, the, the Conor McGregor Somebody drew up this picture of Conor McGregor topless with a machine gun, and a lot of Yahoo's behind him looked like they're walking on a cobbled street in Dublin with all well, the guns. Trouble stopped it or the, the, the sleeves, it. yeah, like yeah, he's leading yeah, them into battle yeah, yeah. to save our Irishness. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just I mean, it's <laughs> ridiculous. It's almost yeah. comical. It would be yeah. comical if it wasn't believable to some people, and unfortunately, well, there are people out there. Unfortunately, who, some people have, yeah. you know, and don't get me wrong. Uh, we're not just uh, bashing people on t today, but unfortunately, some people are very, very easily influenced. Yeah. If they're in decrepit places, if they're in uh, yeah. uh, on the breadline yeah. and uh, things like that, and they're the, the ones that these people aim for. Yeah. The they are. That, you uh, aim you for know, the on, it's on, it, but it's it, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same religion. Often, like some religions, often thrive in areas where the education the attainment is quite low. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's it's logic and reason kind of goes over yeah. it a bit. And I, I just think that, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of, we're, you know, I, a few months ago, we'd have never thought to be burning down buildings. No, it was unknown. No, it yeah, happens yeah, a bit yeah. more in Europe, I believe. Oh, but, it does. Uh, Europe know, is way ahead of us now yeah, as well. Uh, don't, yeah. We're not just uh, bashing people for the sake of bashing people here. Border but there, there, is, there is some sort of, uh, uh, sometimes there's a hidden agenda with these people that are uh, out uh, 
unfortunately in some cases some of the people that are out uh, are very decent people but mm. they've just been uh, not okay for the sake of I'm not saying brainwashed or anything but that's their view they've seen things happening some of their kids probably can't get houses and things like that and things like that and one thing leads on to another yeah. and then the first thing to blame is the immigrants yeah vulnerable. Uh, well it's not the immigrants you the vulnerable, kick on the yeah. most vulnerable yeah. uh, it's not the immigrants because they can't you fight know, back you know you know, because uh, the, the thing is, uh, after the Celtic Tiger collapsed, this country went to its yeah, knees. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and yeah. Th- it's a knock on effect from that. Yeah. And where we've very little immigration coming into Ireland yeah. at that stage. But you, you, you remember, know? and we were, there's, there's a famous book John Lydon wrote uh, about, do you remember in the in the B&Bs, and we spoke about, you know, you, you, you I know your very young years were in London, and there were signs in the window saying, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. That's right. My father, uh, I mean, father had to sleep in a park bench in in London. You know, yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, not not welcome. Like, and is that no. what we want to do now? I no. mean, as a group, I think like I think as a, as a majority, no, we don't. No, and I think the, the decency is still there, but there is a movement there, and it needs to be kind of it needs to be checked and kept an eye on. I mean, yeah. I don't want my youngest lad growing up to think that's normal that's normal yeah you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. I don't want my grandkids funnily enough I mean, so your grandkids come along thinking that's normal yeah no you know because funnily it's enough, not um, in, in, in school I, I live out the rural or rural Limerick John, and we've had some Syrian refugees come in and it was a big fuss in a good way yeah um, in you know yeah. if anyone doesn't know my son is on the spectrum and he's very very you know he's, he loves learning new things and he learned um, he tried to learn some Arabic words oh, to greet them lovely, see, that's yeah yeah because he's yeah. you know it's, he, he's into his research as he calls yeah. it he's 8 years of age he, yeah. he, he likes to do that and, and made them feel particularly welcome and you know and learned their names and you know the, it's a learning curve for people but it's been like children are more yeah Acceptable of people. Well, the innocence, the innocence is there, John. The innocence is there. A child doesn't bo- not, not blinded by politics, not blo- 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 by politics, not blinded yeah. by racism, not blinded by prejudice. This, uh, yeah. that. A kid is innocent, so, you know, yeah. and that goes for all kids. And it was lovely. It's because, the way they're geared. Yeah, we we know now the names of those children, like because yeah, they're talking about yeah. them, and and they've been made welcome. They play yeah. football together, and, and you know what? The issue skin color and you know, doesn't just, come into it. No, We're all on this no, this uh, no. this planet. You and know. as I said, with climate change and everything like that, not changing the subject, yeah. we're all in the same boat. Mm. So if this planet goes down, we all go down. Yeah. Not just it's so, not going to be your skin colour, your creed. No, no nobody in our, our area outside, funnily enough, is has an issue with it. But well, that's great. You know, that they're, they're coming yeah. from, imagine what it's like for them. They're coming from Syria, I think it is, and they're over in the middle of rural Limerick. They're probably yeah. you know, it's yeah, confusing it's for confusing them. Confusing for them, yeah. And pr- half trying don't to get have their the own language. food is probably yeah. difficult. Yeah. You know, I mean yeah. You know, it's well, that's where you, yeah, and that's even in Parliament Street, a lot of people will be on about the, the shops up there. But that's good because people do need their own food. Yeah, but they'll be empty otherwise. Yeah. They I, don't need I love going into those ethnic well, shops. A lot of people go into the ethnic shops, yeah. Even though we have the Baldogan shop over yeah, there as well, sure which is. We, get milk yeah. <laughs> we do, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But we it's do. just as good as yeah. anyone else. Just you know, as good. Yeah. You know. John, what a lot of people don't understand as well is uh, what's the difference between refugee and immigrant? Yeah, I suppose um, the way it works is, I believe. An asylum seeker, uh, the difference between an asylum seeker really and a refugee is what it is. It's a. Uh, oh, asylum seeker. Yeah, sorry, an asylum, yeah. asylum seeker is a person who made an application to be a refugee. So, an international protection applicant is a different term, but it refers to the same thing. So, just in case anyone wants to know what that is. But the refugee is someone who has had to leave their country of origin. And the quote is because of a well founded fear of persecution because of reasons including their race. So their colour of the skin or whatever, or you know, I remember yeah. like there was in Rwanda the, the Yeah, that's right, there was massacres know, over there. Massacres and yeah. so it could be yeah. something like that. Um it doesn't have to be colour of your skin. So your religion, so the, there's persecution in Syria for Christians or whatever, maybe your uh, nationality. Um you know, could be, yeah. you know Ukrainian, yeah. for instance, Ukrainians. I suppose a tribe if you're yeah. in certain areas, if you're that's from right. a different tribe. Um so know. membership of a particular social group, uh or a political uh, opinion and I suppose also you could add uh, you know your sexual orientation into yeah, that because yeah. there are well, countries where yeah, yeah. homosexuality yeah. is illegal yeah. so you know that, that's basically yeah. so uh, Ireland is uh, it's, we're one of the signatories to the 1951 United Nations Convention relating to the status of refugees which obliges our state to provide protection to people fleeing their country for the reasons above now we signed that that's something we trust our governments to do and they can, you know, they can be giving out about them and stopping and wailing at children going in all they want, but they don't even know this. Yeah. Some of those yeah. out there don't understand that we yeah. have done this. So they're entitled to apply for family reunification. 
to bring their immediate family members within a certain criteria. There are yeah. rules, and I, there has to be some border yeah. controls. Yeah. So there's no point in those children having yeah. to listen to that. Yeah. You know, and this thing, oh, they're all men and all this young men, but I yeah. mean, do they not deserve a right to life yeah, too? Th- that's what I'm saying, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah oh, yeah, why yeah. do they burn their passports is what I've heard. I just, I've never had anyone burn their that? passports. How did, how did they know that? They yeah. have all this, yeah. because they're listening to all this. I mean, I mentioned yeah. all these well-learned people who've done their masters and this and that, and then you have a fellow that's done 20 minutes research on Facebook and he knows yeah, it all. Yeah, he knows it all. that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. what it boils down to. Yeah. There's no academics involved in this, very few. Yeah, well, it's, it's 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 looking like it, like uh, but even the the men at the top, uh, they're not the soldiers, the foot soldiers. No. It's the whipping off, uh, ah. uh, panic up with frenzy. people. There's army, there's frenzy, ups. and they're often yeah. not even from Fortune. Ireland. They come over then to kind of, isn't it? Yeah, You're yeah, but it's a lot online. Is from different countries. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah. have a they have a different agenda. They don't give a, a hold about Ireland. Yeah, you know, it's just a different agenda for uh, t- they want Europe in uh, probably in a right a right wing uh, thinking. Yeah. So you're going to be driving these people from country to country to country to country to country and then they'll eventually have nowhere to go. You know, they're leaving a the place for yeah. a reason. And no one's coming over here. A lot of them claim to be Christians and isn't the, the story of, you know, there's no room at the inn. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, very yeah. Christian when it suits them. Oh, that probably a lot of these people are uh, they've got to mass every Sunday yeah. and things like that and they don't you think they're doing I, anything I, wrong. Look, I'm not... Uh, I was born a Catholic or anything. I won't claim to be... Yeah. But... You can't pick and choose the bits you like. No. You know, no. it's either, it's either right or wrong. It's either yeah, your doctrine. Yeah, you know? yeah, I don't yeah. like that. No, yeah. I'll leave that yeah. aside. Sure, we'll ignore it for now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but they do, they do, as I said, whip up the frenzy with people that, especially, I, I, and I, I can see both sides, but I don't agree with it. No. Uh, any, I do any, understand we're under severe pressure. We're under severe pressure. Oh, absolutely. I think we are under severe pressure. Of and we are. Uh, uh, there is wrong, wrongly informed information coming out at times that these people come in, they're looked after straight away yeah. before our own. And uh, that doesn't happen because I don't uh, think that's true. Out, not machine, the there are just people out there for years. No. And they don't even have a room. You know what the thing? I've been out there. And I remember working for a previous. Uh, kind of organisation to be non-profit as well an FRC a family resource centre and we pick up this one of the one of the ladies that lived there she was a Nigerian girl and she'd been there nine years Yeah. and if you were ever out there it's like a gulag you know in the right. outdoor prisons you'd yeah. see you'd yeah. hear about in Poland yeah. or like Colditz or somewhere or yeah. whatever and uh, she's there nine years and we bring her into a class and it was only down the road but it meant so much for her they were only had on something like 19 euros a week that's right they were supposed to save up for their children's birthdays and Christmas yeah. out of that they weren't allowed to eat their own food in the no. rooms no. they had to eat Irish now if you're coming over from like their stomachs aren't you know their pants wouldn't for, be yeah, I mean there's your stew what's that like you that's know? like us going over there yeah. eating uh, some of this, uh, the, yeah. the food that they I get they eat, have you know? to kind of try and oh, I, I, I know but but, but, nine yeah. years yeah. nine years she hadn't been she her her, her kind of case hasn't hadn't been heard well nine see years. Th- these are the things that people don't see yeah you know there's two mm. and, and she the, wanted to work she wanted to study yeah. and she couldn't yeah, now good. there is kind of more they, you know they can study now and work some of them I think so uh, uh, but it's still like the time process is still yeah and the former job I was in as well John uh, there was a, a fella came from Brazil mm. no his name was uh, Ronaldo mm. no we thought we were getting a great fella for the interfirm team and all that never played football uh, he never played football in his life <laughs> he was into fishing and he was into oh, well, uh, yeah. uh, and uh he was the same he was actually a physiotherapist yeah. for a local football team yeah. where he was living in yeah. Brazil and yet he had to stack pallets with us he got a job started at the bottom of the, the yeah. rung yeah. nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that no but fair play to him yeah. never missed a day never out sick work ethic strong. work ethic was very very yeah. strong honest day's work and eventually he, he studied here a bit and unfortunately he couldn't get the job he was after here with some of the, the rugby teams the soccer teams around because there was, there was, in fairness to Ireland, there is a lot of physiotherapy people here, well trained people. So he's he moved to Australia then on the himself. strength, and he made a life from South Africa. Nice. Smash and blow. But like we, we had a, a Syrian refugee here, and I remember like it's a community employment scheme, and it's a training and development role, and uh, she was a qualified doctor, and yeah. uh, you know, the, you know, they're coming over, they want to work. You know, they yeah. want to, to, to contribute to society. Yeah. They want to be a part of society. Yeah. They want to explore our culture. They want to share a little bit of their culture. Right. I, I'm the kind of person that would love to yeah. hear about their life. Um, but, but, but even, John, in, uh, on the strength of that, or sports-wise especially, 
County teams are going to get stronger. Yeah. With these people amalgamating and grasping the GA. Uh, the rugby teams are o- going to get stronger. Ben scored against Liverpool, my team last night, but thankfully we won 4 1 in the end. That's right. I'm slighted for him, to be honest. Yeah, but uh, there you, you know, go, you know. But, uh, and and, and then you've, uh, rugby is going to get mm. better. The football team hopefully will get better. Mm. So uh, it's all plus. That's only going down to sport. Yeah. But what uh, it says. Phil in it, Paul McGrath. Phil in it, Paul McGrath. Yeah. 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 Paul McGrath. Halpin, and then there are. Beans for Cork. That's how he's a great horse yeah. in Cork. Lee Chin from Wexford at the moment, yeah. who's a mixture of uh, Chinese and, and yeah. Irish. Yeah. You know, these people are bringing great assets you, you, into you, the. You're seeing the positives in it. It's, yeah. We have to explore the positives. We have to try and see the positives. But Rather than see the differences all the time, we say, oh, what are, how are we alike? We're human beings. We're human beings, John. We, we all lead the same blood, John. That's not yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, not That's that what bad. it is. It doesn't come down to, you know. No. I, even the pigmentation, the skin, whatever. Who cares? My grandson's the same. He, he, he his next door neighbours are from Nigeria, I think, and yeah. he is Tons learning around, tons about Nigeria. Mm. They learn tons about Ireland. They learn Irish mm. in school. Mm. They're uh, St Patrick's Day. They go out marching. St yeah. Patrick's Day. They're it's modern. Their culture, now. Yeah. As well. Yeah. No. They're modern father. It's inclusive. They're very, very hard workers. Yeah. You know. And uh, they're, they're after grasping our, our culture, and it's about. You I have think to be it's proud of the kids, John, don't you? You have to be oh, proud of some of them. I'm, pr- yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure you're proud of him. Oh, the, the, you my, see, even see. Yeah. You see next door, John, as well. All the kids yeah. going in together, all enhanced, small different nationalities in um, yeah. school. None of this nonsense. None of the nonsense that no. the adults, and it's us adults that are. Uh, and do you know what it often is as well, I think? They, 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 because they have something lacking in their own lives. It's like they have to take it out on someone. It's it's almost like those that you know commit domestic violence toward women. It's so he's had a bad day at work and who's yeah. to take it out? It's he's, his wife's fault. You know, yeah, nominal, yeah. You know, yeah. You can't yeah. shoulder the blame for no. he's not where he should be or no. feels he should be. Or his life didn't take a turn because he didn't yeah. do a certain. He uh, didn't, didn't didn't do a certain job. Didn't get a certain trade. Didn't get yeah. a certain education. It's no one's fault. Yeah. Then the day it's your own fault. Just using an excuse. To yeah. It's easier than to admit yourself that I oh, you should have done this. Or and I should have yeah, done and and then there, you know, it's the same. The right wing crowd will rise about this the referendum, and they'll rise about, you know, anti-abortion, and and you know, and no one likes the idea of uh, of abortion. But you know, the, the autonomy and the freedom to choose what a woman does to her body. How? What am I as a man? I have no right to to, to expect my right. opinion. Yeah. And, and, and a woman yeah. and, and a, the women population in this yeah. country we, we, oh, we haven't proved that women have. go through John. Yeah. You know? what business do I have yeah. I don't have the right to no you, know, you don't you know. no and well, you know it's funny enough that they're linked aren't they do you know these yeah the funny thing about it is they're linked you know, keep us back in the dark ages attitude yeah because women were set class citizens only uh, probably in Ireland up to the the 50s mid 60s a woman before class if, if they got out of a relationship and said they had to remortgage their house or whatever pre-1990 would have found it very hard to get a yeah. mortgage because she was female yeah and it was such ridiculous but, he, but even that's what's so good about things the immigrants coming in, in uh, or the, the people coming in the refugees and, and mm. things because in their country as well their their wives and sisters are being kept down as well yeah you're a second class citizen over yeah. there and they're starting to open up a bit more through the Irish yeah. uh, maybe that'll help change it'll things help today. change their yeah. things here from yeah. no, it'll probably never change in their country because religion uh, you'd like to think it would one day though wouldn't you but uh, you'd like to think but most of the rules are manuals. Yeah, but sure wasn't it in Iran where the, the, the hijabs came off and the, the brave, yeah, brave young women. Young women. And, and, and there's there's some videos on YouTube they're sitting in coffee shops with them off and they have a morality police thing that can pull them off the street. Oh yeah. I mean, and they're, they're just they're for not yeah, yeah, yeah. covering their modesty yeah, yeah. what hair? Yeah, hair. Like, well, you know, yeah. hair. Really? Plus, plus, yeah. I know, but yeah. that's you know, things change always takes bravery and um, I think with this right wing crowd in this country whether or not I don't mean a physical standing up but you know I basically not giving them the, the, the they have they shouldn't be given the medium to speak uh, we shouldn't listen to their nonsense we should fact check their rubbish you know yeah. when they're coming out with oh people if somebody says something very confidently that it's true sometimes you'll believe it but if you check it things can be taken out of context Ireland's not full it's not not no. in that manner no. now we are we have a lot to do housing boys improving our services uh, we need more services and our, our medical our medication you know, all that our, stuff. Our, our, our medical sorry not medication our hospital yeah hospital things need to be fixed up well, uh, uh, everyone has a right uh, yeah. I understand everyone has a right to live in the our, Irish and no 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 is that no, it no you can't uh, these people are going to uh, will enrich 
Mm. Uh, the our Irish, old culture. Our old culture. Yeah. And it's, Did and you it's see just, in the Late Late Show? I don't watch it, but there was a clip, and uh, it, I think it was, um, I don't know, was it celebrating? It was celebrating some trad thing that was going on anyway. I forget what it was. And it had a, a full trad band, and Liam Amon Lee, you know, from the Hot Stars, was yeah. doing a bit of singing someone else. Yeah. But the Irish dancer was uh, an African chap, and my God, he was brilliant. He stole the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, brilliant. And you had know, the feet are gone, you can barely yeah. see the way. It's like a blow, sure. um, but uh, yeah, yeah, fabulous, and that's, that, that, that's what we want. But your John, even even uh, I was just reading up on the famine there uh, uh, over the last couple of days, and uh, is it the Choctaw Indians in America? Yeah, uh, sent money to Ireland, uh, donated money to Ireland at the time okay. of the famine. Yeah, the Choctaw Indians did yeah. barely enough for themselves. You know, and then we are given out then about uh, racist this, racist that, racist this, you know, racist yeah. that, like you know, and. When, when people check up on the history of Ireland especially the famine and that's not a, not a very well known thing no, I that they talking, actually donated donated no, money towards uh, yeah. to try and feed the people of Ireland yeah. and I think it was only last year or the year before that the Irish some of the ministers went over to the to place with the chalk and, yeah, thanked, and, them, and yeah. thanked them yeah. yeah nice touch so it just shows you at the end of the day we're all humans on, on yeah. this earth uh, maybe it's the Did way it give and take John has to be a bit of give and take John <sighs> Has to be a bit of give and take. I, I understand people panicking that this the housing and thing, and you're constantly hearing news on the on the, the right. This is that, 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 that was all. That, that was that was just a, a, an excuse to having a go at oh, the gas. Dark, dark That's, energy. How is that good for anyone roaring was, and shouting was, down the street? Yeah, that was just having a go at the gas. Yeah. There well, was well, people having a go at the gas. Have they changed anything? Do they think they've changed policy? No, those people. No. Did they understand that that was never going to happen? Do they? I don't know because the, you know. At the end of the not day, the brightest bunch. At the end of the day, John. There's good and bad in everyone. Yeah. All races have it. Yeah. Good and bad. Yeah. You know, there's good and bad in everyone. It's kind of grey, isn't it, as well? You it's a grey area, John. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you can't just yeah. uh, uh, paint people like it's been done in Limerick City uh, around them, not just saying. A lot of people around Ireland don't understand that Limerick City is a, a fantastic city. But we're all, uh, at the time we got the name Stab City issue, we're all. We're all, we hated that. We're all hit the balls on yeah. yeah. And what, what the way did we. Well, you think? still hear that. You, you do, yeah. Know, yeah. How'd like you live that. down there? And Limerick is, and uh, not taking many other cities around Ireland, but Limerick's a fantastic city. Yeah. You know, and but there is bad in every city. Yeah, of course there is. And they're the ones that get highlighted, not the good things that are going on there, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. You know. Mm. So we've no time for a right wing racist, John. That's what we're no, 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 no. No, we just want people to open their, yeah. open their minds and uh, read up on things first before you make a decision. We're not going to change everyone, but. We're just giving our opinion today. This is just uh, John and my, my, my opinion. Yeah. As I say, oh, hopefully a lot of people will share that. Hopefully a lot of pe- people will I'd share like it. I'd like to think there's more, more light out there than that. There is more good than bad, John. I, I'd like to think No matter so. what, there I is more there good is. than bad. Yeah, yeah, and we know from we're a community centre here, John. Yeah. We deal with so many people. Yeah. But there is more good than bad there, and, and we like people to remember today. Yeah, Most yeah, people yeah. that are in here, are yeah, good people. yeah, and especially the Irish nation, there is more good than bad than bad in the Irish nation. We're no, we're renowned for it worldwide, mm-hmm. and hopefully we keep that. that way. Yeah. Well, John, thanks very much today, and thanks for all the thank uh, you, the, the, the thing. We ju- just like to thank uh, Limerick City Community Radio for leaving us on on air, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the show today. And thanks to uh, St Mary's Adult Education Centre for leaving the two of us, and thanks to you, John. Thank you, John. as well for having me on your show. Uh, we'll talk to you again in two weeks. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Hope we didn't give you indigestion. <laughs> but, uh, Never know. But uh, we hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll have another uh, something to talk about in, in two weeks' time. So uh, all the best, John. All the best, John. Goodbye to everyone. Bye.